from Swapping Into It's your boy, your Wavy Six. Back at it with another episode. Um, today the episode is about um crime work. I don't know if you guys know a lot. You know, not everybody um posts videos with the crime work. A lot of wavies they don't like to do the crime work, but I'm gonna show you guys the way that I do my crown and how can you even develop your crown work. So let me take my door rag off real quick. The money, by the way, it's money. You know what I'm saying. Took the time to make this video real quick. Do the weight check real quick. Vibes. Show you guys what I'm working with. It's the crown patch right here. I got two because I'm wolfing for nine weeks, so I gotta put some compression on it. I don't like to do double do door records. You give me a headache. Close the line, you know. This is what I'm gonna use today. It's a comb, the hair, this is the brush. I'm gonna use this one. They both crown. Only thing this regular brush takes for the crown and regular brush to brush. So what I do is, I start you see right here. This one, I pull it here like this. So my crown will like this, like this, and like this, and like this. That's how my angles are. So what I do is this. It's based on pulling. It's pulling your hair. That's the that's the main trick of the crown. You just gotta know where to put your hair. Do it by section. You see, I started doing by section. Don't don't go crazy and trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? All over the place like this. Don't do that. Do it by section. The crown gonna get used to it. You see, I already finished there. What I'm doing here now, do this one forward. This is um, forward to this corner right here. Put it forward. You see, I'm pulling this, these two waves here. This one, this one. It's gonna come, it's gonna get the shape. You just gotta be patient with it. I'm not using the whole brush. I'm not using this tip right here. From here, down. After you think it's decent, go to the next angle, which is right here forward. You see, I'm brushing this side right here. You see, right here. You take your time, you know what I'm saying? Be easy with it. Play with it. It's like a circle. Play with it. You get used to it. After you get used to it, you're gonna start playing with your crown. You know what I'm saying? Doing adjustments and stuff. Then, what I do is this side right here, I push it all the way here. From here, you push it here. You see? From here, here. From here, there. It looks kind of weird, but that's how it is. So, let me do it right here. I'm wolfing, so it's gonna, it's, my hair's over curling already, so I gotta, Gotta be really gentle with it. Maybe you just play with it, you know? What you're doing is you're creating a, you're creating a swirl. And this side right here, you brush it this side right here, right here like this. It's the same as your pattern. Only thing is smaller, you know? You gotta do it by sections. See, on top of my ear. I'm just breaking it down, my swirl, so you guys can see how I do it. My crown. So I'm pulling two waves at the same time. 
you see, because my crown is off center. Then here, you're going behind your ear. You're going behind your ear. I'm pulling this one right here. You see this one and this one, I'm pulling. So it could create a, a slant to swirl. It's gotta be gentle with it. I, I, I realize why a lot of waivers, they don't, they don't do their crown. It takes time for you to develop your crown. And it takes work and it takes a lot of patience, consistency, and you gotta know it's more slow. That's the reason why a lot of guys, they just brush the regular angles and they don't, most of these waivers, if you look at them, I'm not gonna say everybody, but the people that are not really taking serious uh, your pattern, they just do it to have waves. But when you wanna perfect it, the main source is the crown, okay? If you wanna perfect your waves, that's the main purpose right there. If you do this crown, your pattern's gonna flow beautiful, it's gonna look good. You see how my pattern looks good, right? But then again, look, I got on my crown. Look, you see, it looks messy, right? You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? You want everything to flow. And I repeat the same, the same steps I repeat. You know it's like when you pull a song on repeat. You do the same stuff every day. And now you create forks. Simple, brushing the wrong way. You forget how to brush. And that's how you, you forget the angles that you was doing. And that's how you get it. There's no signs behind it. You just forget your pattern and that's how it goes. You see? That's how it's coming together. And after that, you just gotta take your time to improvise, you know? You see how I'm doing it? Without stopping. Cause I already know my angles. I already know how it flows. And this hair right here is baby hair, so you gotta be really gentle with it. Cause it's not a lot of hair, so when you got a lot of hair, it's easier. Cause you um you could pull it, you could maneuver your hair. But when you got smooth hair, like in the crown, is it's hard to do it because it's not enough hair. That's the reason why you gotta wolf. That's the reason why you gotta lay your crown wolf more than your regular uh, size. That's why you tell your barber when you go there and you wolf for, for four weeks, so they said, you tell your what? you tell your barber, if you're doing a number two on your whole head, tell your barber to, two, um, to do um, 2.5. Have your little, um, have your crown uh, more hair than your regular pattern. More now, hair your crown to develop to make your crown look um, better. And that's how I, that's how I do my, my crown. My crown right now has a lot of hair. I ain't gonna lie. But, you know, I'm gonna cut it soon. I just wanna show you guys uh, my pattern, how it looks. And, you know, and how I brush it. This video is about a crown section. I'm not doing on a brush and I just want to show you guys how I develop my crown. You could use the back of the brush too. You know what I'm saying? If you got a lot of hair, you can use it. You just got to be gentle with it. Remember, your waist you only got eight angles. That's it. I say you have eight angles. I'm gonna continue brushing my, my pattern because I wanna perfect it. I gotta go to my barber so he could cut my hair because it's time to cut it. I've been wolfing for nine weeks. And look at my crown, it's poofy now. So I don't like it when it's like this because it looks ugly at the same time. It don't let me brush the proper way that I wanna brush. You know? Because it don't, it, it don't show me my angles. Okay, you see, same thing. This is how I brush mine, okay? Everybody got their own ways. 
and it's hard when you're doing it from the camera. I'm using the back of the brush. It's the same thing, nothing changed. Only thing that I got, no bristles. But it's the same angles. You're just pulling. Doing my sections. Every time you do a section, finish it with a crown work. Start with a crown work, but the way that I do it, I always finish by whatever I'm doing, fixing uh, forks or whatever the case is, I always finish with a crown work. And that way you always spend a little bit of time in crown. And that way you um, your 360 or 720 or 540, it will look nice, all right? You guys stay safe, or you will be six. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace and love, my day.